So next up, podcast listeners, we have the dumbest bill in America. And do we have a lead up, Mr. Producer? Here it is. And it's the dumbest bill in America. And it is voter registration drives in high schools. Voter registration drives in high schools. This bill put forward by state delegate Ariana Kelly of Maryland is a bill that requires, get this podcast listeners, it requires that voter voter registration drives are administered by local boards of elections inside of high schools and may include an event on school property. This is right from the bill, okay? House Bill 201, voter registration drives in high schools where registration applications can be approved by the state board right on the campus of the high school. And they may include any event on the school property during school hours open to each employee of any student enrolled in the school. So employee of the school or a student of the school who is or will be 16 years old, but you can't vote until you're 18. (laughs) Yeah, so we'll get to that in a minute. Local school board officials, employees, or authorized volunteers visiting classrooms within a school can also push for voter registration drives, podcast listeners. But before we read the rest of this bill of voter registration drives in high schools, let's talk about the state delegate who put it in. The state delegate, Ariana Kelly of Maryland, has put this bill in before. And we're going to talk about what it actually does and what it means in a minute. But first up, let's tell you a little bit, a little bit about Ariana Kelly. So we have a clip on this from Channel 2 in D.C. from 2015. So Channel 2 is a, channel, is a station in Washington, D.C. from 2015. And Ariana Kelly was featured. Here's the sponsor. We have that clip, and here it is. State lawmaker is in trouble tonight, accused of indecent exposure and trespassing. Delegate Ariana Kelly was dropping her children off at her ex-husband's house in Bethesda. Now, charging documents say she was upset that his fiance was inside the home. Barack Sanford told police that Kelly started ringing the doorbell and banging on the door, and he asked that she leave. Sanford played a cell phone video for police that showed Kelly ringing the doorbell numerous times and exposing her breast. Trial is set for August 13th. Now, early this year, Kelly was said to be considering a run for the 8th congressional district seat being vacated by Representative Chris Van Hollen. Somehow that delegate podcast listeners, after showing her breasts uh, and then being charged with this indecent exposure uh, thing, uh, she wants to go inside of high schools now. She wants there to be voter registration drives in high schools. This individual... And um, I guess her pronouns are she, her, since she showed her showed her breasts. But who knows anymore from Montgomery County? It could be anyone. I'm not quite sure. But let's read from this bill. Voter registration drives in high schools. Local school board officials or local election board officials, employees or authorized volunteers can visit the classrooms within a school during school hours, distributing voter registration applications to the employees of the school, and to any student who will be 16 years or older. At least once each school year, this can happen. Each local board shall conduct a voter registration drive in each public high school in the county in a manner specified in an agreement between the local school board and the local board of education and the, of course, election board. Each public official responsible for the use of a public high school shall make available to the local board without charge the space that's needed so they can have a voter registration drive. So podcast listeners, this allows individuals who will be 16, so actually as young as 15, but it says 16, but when you read the fine fine print, they could actually be as young as 15, to register in high schools and for there to be voter registration drives in high schools. Why does this matter? Because these are the individuals in the Democrat Party who want people as young as 16 to vote in elections. They want people as young as 16 to vote in county elections, state elections, and federal elections. That is really what they want. 
And they want that because they believe that those voter registration drives will skew more in the Democrats' favor. The younger people are indoctrinated, especially in these public schools that this individual wants to go into. And so State Delegate Ariana Kelly put this voter registration drive in high schools because, you know, you don't have very much to do in high school, like learn math and learn science and learn English. Oh, no, what you really need to do is you need to get really involved in civic opportunities like learning how to vote at the age of 16 when you can't vote anyway. And so increasingly, we see these individuals in state legislatures trying to turn children into adults. You're an adult at 18 in America. That's when you get to vote. You're not an adult at 16. You're still a child. So stay the heck out of the public high schools. Stay out of all the high schools. But that is why the Democrat Party wants to get so involved in high schools, because first, they can write the curriculum that indoctrinates the students into being woke and far left. And then they have voter registration drives that are compulsory in the high school. And that even volunteer organizations, right, a volunteer organization, in theory, could even go in there and who knows who the voluntary organization is, but they're authorized to go inside of the public high school, these volunteer organizations, and do what? Register people. So who are these volunteer organizations? Do you want a volunteer organization who could be from any kind of political persuasion going inside and talking to your children about how they should register to vote and even having that conversation? How about the average 16-year-old when they go up to the voter registration drive table and say, well, I don't really know what I am. I don't know if I'm a Democrat. I don't know if I'm a Republican. And then you have the person at the voter registration drive who's a, quote, volunteer say, well, why don't you just register as a Democrat to be safe? You know, why don't you just do that? And this is exactly what the Democrats have been dreaming forever, because they think children should be on school boards and should vote for budgets and union contracts, which is absurd. And they think children should also be able to vote and vote for incredibly very adult issues. And they are wrong. And that is, these are the same people that are sexualizing our high schools and our middle schools and our elementary schools by putting this crazy agenda inside of them, these these transgender agendas, transgender agendas, I like that, inside the schools and confusing children about pronouns and what they are and cisgender. I just saw this the other day, uh, Chris, cisgender. What is cisgender again? Uh, You're cisgender. Yeah, cisgender means that what? You're you you go by the gender that you were assigned at birth. Is that a cisgender? I think so. <laughs> right. Uh we call that our boy or a girl in the yeah. real world, but you know, they call it a cisgender. <laughs> um and this is what they're doing in the public schools. And so now they want to have voter registration drives and you know exactly what they're up to podcast listeners. Not to mention the fact that this particular delegate, this particular delegate It's the same individual that has kind of issues with this matter herself. We play the clip for you. We're going to play it one more time because here is the sponsor. Here is what the sponsor did. Here it is. State lawmaker is in trouble tonight, accused of indecent exposure and trespassing. Delegate Ariana Kelly was dropping her children off at her ex-husband's house in Bethesda. Now, charging documents say she was upset that his fiance was inside the home. Barack Sanford told police that Kelly started ringing the doorbell and banging on the door, and he asked that she leave. Sanford played a cell phone video for police that showed Kelly ringing the doorbell numerous times and exposing her breast. Trial is set for August 13th. Now, earlier this year, Kelly was said to be considering a run for the 8th congressional district seat being vacated by Representative Chris Van Hollen. And now that same delegate wants to have voter registration drives in high schools. And that's the dumbest bill in America. And that's it for Mark and the Millennials. This is Mark Fisher. Thank you to our producer, Christopher Hawkins. Check us out on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Parler, Rumble, and our website. See you next time.